Hey guys, how you doing? It's Bex Kaleido, and um, yeah, I know. It has been two years since you guys heard from me, but I am back and I am ready to put out content. I'm actually going to be posting a new video every Tuesday morning. So if you guys like, go ahead and go click that notification bell because Bex Kaleido is back. Today our video is really just going to be about skincare. I know I've been gone for a long time, so I would like to open up any conversation about what I have been up to, why I stopped posting, all that good stuff. Um, if you guys are interested in a video like that, go ahead and leave a comment in the section below. And um, yeah, I'll make that video for you guys. My skin has changed significantly. Most importantly, I think the major change was the fact that I had a child um, roughly about two years ago um, and when I was pregnant I feel like my skin was perfection like I could throw on any moisturizer and I just had abundant amount of collagen production and uh, cell turnover and that was just my experience um, you know with pregnancy my hair grew super super long my nails were super strong the prenatals probably helped with that but the fact that I was generating new cells um, just kind of kept my skin looking amazing and then I had a baby and you know everything just went downhill <laughs> as far as my skin goes um, so I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my regimen. Before I get started, I just want to apologize in advance. I do have my Dyson fan going, which is, it is super hot. I do live in California, so our summers are pretty intense, but I do apologize if you guys do hear that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start taking this makeup off. I didn't do much today. I just threw on some lashes and eyebrows, so here we go. Um, now that I am a mom, I actually haven't really used um, makeup wipes. I just use whatever um, sensitive, uh, what is it called, sensitive baby wipes that I have around and I use an oil cleanser to kind of cleanse my skin in general and my lashes. So for my cleanser, I am using, ooh, and I'm almost out of the L'Occitane Cleansing Oil and this is the 5% of Vichea. Let's see if this will zoom in there. Perfect. So this is the oil cleanser that I've been using, and for the most part, I just sorry, I just put a couple pumps on a wipe. And I do use the sensitive ones because after I had my baby, like my skin is super sensitive and will break out for no reason, literally. Like if I have a Cajun product, if I use a peel, my skin will just freak out so I have to make sure that the wipes are sensitive and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of pinching my lashes a little bit to get um, the oil to remove it because the mascara that I use is as always waterproof so oil is a very important factor to remove that completely so I'm not really like yanking at my lashes I'm just pinching them slightly letting the oil saturate and then kind of like lighting the mascara off and I make sure to not pull or tug because of course that's going to get rid of my natural lashes which I work very hard to allow them to grow. One thing that has changed in the last couple years is I did start cosmetology school and they do teach you how to do facials. So like the first couple steps of facial after like sanitation is to cleanse the eyes and the lips and the face. So, I mean, it was kind of comforting to know that I was doing that right the whole time and not just like going in with oil and like spreading stuff all over my face. So now that I took off the mascara, I don't really have anything on my lips except chapstick, so I'm not going to cleanse that. But I'm going to go in with that same L'Occitane, just put a couple pumps on my palm, work that, and then put that all over my skin. So normally I do wear a ton of foundation, like not normally, but before COVID, which is like post-apocalyptic, really that's what it feels like. But before COVID hit, I would wear foundation, bronzer, all that jazz, and um, it was absolutely necessary for me to use this oil everywhere. But now really I just put on my brows, maybe some lashes and some concealer like underneath my eyes. And that's, I just call it a day. 
because having a mask on and having a full face for my skin is like just begging for a breakout which I don't want to go through so with that same wipe I just go over like the parts that don't have any mascara on it like something like this and then I just start taking off any concealer and because I put my concealer mostly underneath my eye to hide my tiredness um, that's really the part that I concentrate on and so I get a bunch of concealer off of that area so essentially what we're doing here is the first step of a double cleanse which is the oil um, and that works really well even with that big skin because oil does a really good job with cleansing oil like it loosens up those um, accumulations of sebum of dirt inside of the pores so even though I do have that mixed skin for the cleansing part at least the first part I do like using an oil I find that nothing removes residue and makeup oh my god I went too hard on my throat residue <laughs> it just does a really good job so um, I, I'm gonna take a second wipe to just make sure I have everything off Off for the most part and today I actually did put on a little bit of contour for my jawline so I'm just making sure that I'm getting that out as well all right and so now that you have semi clean skin we're gonna go in with the second step of the um, of the cleanse. So the second step for me is actually not here. Let me go grab okay. it really quick. So the second step for the cleanse is going to be the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This guy here. A while ago, a friend of mine told me about this and I was just like, okay, cool. Like it works for you. I'm glad you found something that works. But just recently I ordered like a whole little kit from Dermalogica and this little guy was in there and let me tell you, it is perfect. Like it, it just stimulates your skin, it gets rid of any oil residue um, and just leaves the skin feeling clean but not dry and it's a very, very good exfoliant. Um, you know I've wondered what's really in here because I like it's so simple it doesn't have any fragrance it doesn't have anything that would irritate the skin so yeah all I do it comes in like this little shaker kind of thing you just put a little bit on the tips of your fingers I say a little bit and I like going in I mean I like to get a good amount because I like to work it Pretty, I mean you guys will see I like to work it into my skin and I do have my sink here so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water but I'm gonna show you guys like I'll go in and just activate it like this and then I'll start emulsifying it between my fingers and I'll just go in and start scrubbing so as you guys can see I am having a really bad breakout on the right side of my face and that is because I use an overnight peel from the drugstore, which I can't share with you guys after I do my cleanse. But I wasn't really, obviously, I wasn't happy with the results that that gave me. So I like stopped using it after the first night. I was like, whoa, this is just way too active for my skin. So as you um, start scrubbing this on the skin, it does dry up, right? It is a powder. So feel free to just add a little bit more water to the tips of your fingers, emulsify it again, and keep going. Man, I remember when I was in middle school, I had like major, I mean major acne around my nose, and it was like, it would make me so sad, like I would feel like I can't even go to school today because it was like pimple on top of pimple, it was absolutely gross. So if anyone out there is like young in that middle school age and you know you have severe acne don't worry about it your skin will come back like that's just part of growing up so now that i have this i'm just gonna go ahead and wash it off with some cold water i don't like using warm 
or even like hot water because obviously it does strip your skin of its natural oil. So we're gonna keep it with cold water today and I'm just gonna okay. rinse this off. Now that I have rinsed off the Dermalogica Microfoliant, I'm just gonna take a clean paper towel and pat my skin dry. I don't want to remove all of the moisture. I'm just gonna like pat it so that I'm not dripping. Excuse me, I'm just gonna Okay. So I've used the L'Occitane Cleansing Oil, I've used the Dermalogica Microfoliant, and now I'm going to go in with the micellar water that I have at hand right now. Preferably, I would be using the Caudalie Micellar Water, but um, I ran out of that and I just had to get the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, and I figured why not just use it till I'm done, which I'm almost there. But this stuff is actually really, really good. Um, it's very good for sensitive skin, and... It's kind of my replacement for toner because the toner that I was using, I actually have it right here. It's called Skin Rescue Toner with Vitamin E and Hemp Seed Oil and Witch Hazel. It's by the Shea Moisture brand. Um, at first, I felt like this was like a semi-good product, but I just felt like the more I used it, the more irritated my skin got, specifically this little troublesome area. So I just completely stopped using it for like at least the last week and a half two weeks and i feel like my skin is a lot happier it's a lot more moisturized and it's having less of a reaction so i'm just going to take one of these little cotton squares and i actually used to put a couple drops of micellar water and then i would do like a couple sprays of the toner but that doesn't really work for my skin, like it just irritates it far too much. So I'm just gonna do this micellar water instead of a toner. Now you can see how pink my skin gets right away just by like putting a cotton pad on there, you know? And my skin is completely clean now, there's absolutely nothing on there. I just do this as like to make sure there's absolutely nothing. Which there shouldn't be, but you know, Virgos, right? Once you have done either your toner or, in my case, your micellar water, we're going to jump into our serum. So this serum, okay, so something I found out about my skin in particular, and if you have sensitive and acneic skin, it might be the case for you too. Um, moisturizers have a lot of like hydrators in there that lock in the moisture in your skin. But a lot of times that will also mean you're locking in any impurities, any sebum, any, any dead skin cells. So I found that when I stick to moisturizing serums, I don't really break out as much. And I know I do have a breakout right now, but it was a lot, lot worse, you guys. Like, I wouldn't even go on camera. And like, I don't know if you guys see this little black dot here, but that was like a full on textured thing. And now it's completely, completely smooth. So the serum that I'm loving is the Caudalie Venal Source SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. This stuff is so good. This is actually my second bottle that I bought um, because it just does miracles for my skin. And I only do about two pumps for my whole face. And also this is more of my evening regimen. Like, I mean, it's not that different from my day except that I do add like a like an SPF but just know that this is more for the nighttime more active for me like I wake up and I have super smooth skin super bright so once I have that I don't want to spread it too far but I do like to bring it down to my neck so that you know, I don't have a dry neck and then I start getting wrinkles and getting saggy skin. I want to avoid that. Um, so, yeah, this serum, you guys, I believe this comes in a kit with a moisturizer from Caudalie. So if you're able to get that, snatch that up because it's a great deal. Oh, and obviously none of this is like a promotional thing. I'm not being sponsored to say any of this. Like this is genuinely what I use and what I find works best for my skin. Um, one more thing that I'm going to add before I move on to moisturizer is the Age Bright Spot Fader from Dermalogica. So, 
this guy right here is amazing because I do have acne every once in a while and then when it turns like this I don't want it to stay for very long right I don't want it to create any scarring or hyperpigmentation so I take a little bead of that Dermalogica product and I just put it wherever I don't want those spots and just so you know guys something I did learn in cosmetology school is that acne a lot of times is hereditary so it's so crazy because my mom actually she's well into her 50s and she still gets acne specifically in this area so for me i feel like it's always something that i'm going to have to deal with so finding the right regimen for me is super important of course skin always gets used to a regimen so it's important to try new things and with that comes air right trial and error but right now this is what's working for me this is what i feel is healing my skin um so now that we have our serums and our treatments on we're gonna move on to the eye area and ooh, I actually have my q-tips downstairs for class but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop this out with my pinky because it's my own personal product but I'm gonna be using the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian thermal water with mineral rich it's a mineral rich eye cream it's super pretty I love the packaging on this and this is just super thick I mean it is a jar so if Ideally, you want to use a Q-tip with this so you're, that you're not contaminating it, but um, it does brighten, it does soothe, moisturize. For me, I feel like it really plump, like, like makes that area more supple, it gives it a little bit more bounce because as we know that area, um, the skin is significantly thinner. So this I feel like just makes it stronger, it fortifies it, and you can put it on the eyelids as well, it's not going to irritate you. So. Now that we have that done, we can move on to moisturizer. So remember I was saying that thing, how moisturizers have those um, emulsifiers and humectants that, can, that make the moisture stick to your skin. So before I start talking about the Paracone MD moisturizer that I use now, I wanna tell you guys about the Intensive Moisture Balance with Dermalogica because this is the one that I was using prior um, it wasn't making my breakouts worse, but it wasn't making it better either. Like it was just too moisturizing, I guess, for my skin. Um, my skin is really not all that dry. So I stopped using this guy because I didn't really see a main difference. And I picked up, I actually picked this up for my grandmother-in-law, my fiance's grandma. And um, it's hypoallergenic because she has sensitive skin and she's on the older side. So I just wanted to um, get her something that wasn't gonna, you know, have a reaction. But she's allergic to aloe and this has aloe in it. So although it does say hypoallergenic, just always make sure to check the ingredient list because they don't know what you're allergic to, right? So um, I ended up giving her the smoothing cream from Dermalogica, which I had gotten for myself. But I didn't want to run back to Nigel's because I live far from the valley and I don't want to do all that. So I just gave her my cream and I was like, okay, well, I can't return this. I might as well just use it. And I guess because it's hypoallergenic, it has really soothing ingredients in there. And this really helped my skin heal. Like, I'm really liking this Paracone MD. Like, it's, it's like a game changer for me. So I know I, I said I don't really like moisturizers, but this one is really healing and... I've used the Paracone products before, and I think I was using something to help with stem cell turnover, and I liked it a lot. I mean, the thing is that because it is like an MD, like a medical grade product, it doesn't really, it doesn't have that, oh, it smells so good, or, you know, it looks like aesthetically pleasing. Like, it's just an, a really good moisturizer that's gonna go in and do its job, so. I honestly don't like any kind of facial products. Like, don't get me wrong, I like the effect of smelling something that smells good, but if it has too much fragrance in it, my skin kind of dries out and I don't really like that. So I like to keep it fragrance free for my skincare regimen and I just apply this and my skin looks super, super glowy. And um, tomorrow morning, I am gonna take a picture and add it on here so that you guys can see how I wake up every morning and how good this looks. 
so um, once I have that I'm pretty much done I can go ahead and go to bed I guess the last thing that I would do I don't do this every day I do it like every like twice a week maybe I use the aqua reveal um, smooth talker water peel for lips um, and I do like this scrub because it's not a physical scrub it's more of like a chemical it is water-based so it's not gonna peel your lips to the point of like they burn or anything but you just twist the bottom I'm sorry I have a bunch of moisturizer on my hand and you get this kind of gel substance between the bristles there I like to put it on the back of my palm first and then apply it to my lips and in case you guys didn't know I have super crusty lips super dry like even when I apply lip balm like five times a day it's still super dry in between application so you just start rubbing and you're gonna see like these little balls start to come up I don't know if you guys see that and that's all the dead skin so once you're done with that you can take a wipe or a wet paper towel or whatever and just wipe it off And it doesn't really help because the paper towel is white but you can see like those little bits of skin on there I don't want to gross you guys out but it's there um, okay so once I have peeled or exfoliated my lips I do like to go in with the hourglass lip treatment oil I have this one in the color bear and I picked it up from Nigel's Beauty Emporium but I'm pretty sure you can find it at Sephora it has this really cool like 24 karat gold tip applicator which is therapeutic to the skin it does like bring blood circulation and does a bunch of miraculous things which I do feel my skin or my lips are smooth after I use this treatment and it is very hygienic like you just pump this and the right amount of product comes out Can do that all day it just feels so good <laughs> but yeah and of course you do want to wipe this off because or else it's not really hygienic and you want to spray it with some kind of alcohol spray um, if you have the 99 alcohol then that's even better but yeah all right guys that's pretty much it that is my new nighttime evening skincare regimen if it were daytime not much would change I would just put on the Dermalogica Pure Light SPF, which is super important to always wear SPF to avoid any early signs of aging and hyperpigmentation. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and ring that notification bell because I am going to be put out, I am going to be putting out a new video every Tuesday morning. So if you guys want to receive that notification, go ahead and do that and leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.